Uh, looking at um, the budget that has been signed into law, what does this portend for Nigeria's economic development, especially as uh, the budget was signed at mid-year? Yeah, so absolutely looking right into that budget, the very first fear has to do with the timing. And if you look into the president's speech, the timing is of essence. Majority of the things the country have to really lay its hand upon with the budget uh, is really going to be affected with time. This is June, mm -hmm. and uh, we're supposed to be operating since, since January. So timing has to do with everything and we've really lost a lot of time. No doubt about that. The second thing has to do with the amount of the budget at large, uh, 9.12 trillion for a country of about 180 to 200 million people. On the average, it's just about 50 to 51,000 Naira in a year. So that is another point of concern to the citizens if you have to look closely at that. I don't really know how much we are going to add, even in the uh, subsequent budget. But looking at that money, I don't really feel it's something we really have to put our hands on and rejoice on. Uh, thirdly, uh, from the president's speech, there's a lot that has to be done with regards to the processes. Uh, uh, it's quite uh, obvious that the whole process, from the executive down to the legislative side, uh, we have a lot of flaws. We have some things to correct. We have a lot to really look into. And uh, finally, because of time, for over 40 years, we've been reading budgets. I have not really seen it in this budget if we have any form of monitoring and evaluation for the budget at the end of the year. So things comes and it goes. Okay, Lekon, looking at, looking at really the, the loopholes that you mentioned that your third point um, being the loopholes there. Now, what are the loopholes that should be uh, fixed to ensure that the budget is passed uh, on the fiscal year? Yeah, first, to talk of the time, I, I really think uh, the executive and the legislature really need to look into this. The heads of uh, government agencies and parastatals really need to come into bear when it comes to time. If you have to take a flight by 10 o'clock and you get there by 11, you surely have it right in your mind that you really missed the flight if you have a serious airline at stake. So to me, everybody needs to put their hands on deck to look into the timing issue. It's not a joke. If not, we will be wasting a lot of money in the budget if mm -hmm. care is not taken. The second thing that has to do with the processes is that I'm not quite sure with the figures, uh, if you go through it, whether you have uh, uh, professionals really looking into these things uh, appropriately. Mm -hmm. For the fact that you are, uh, the, you are in the legislative hand doesn't give you the totality to say this is the best. And for the fact that the executive as well also have their hands in this does not really guarantee that they are also giving us the best. So sometimes there needs to be a clear process to make these processes to make to make meanings to people. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see a solution in the direction of having a clear court process, not just to avoid the blame processing. Um, then uh, the monitoring is also of bear. In most cases, you hear 60%, uh, 40 or 50% of this budget is being implemented. Mm. We are talking of something that is inadequate in the first place. And now, we are now having something not to monitor. We are not even knowing what, this, what is going to happen by the end of December. All we, right. We've witnessed the signing, but I wish you... Uh, we, if we are going to be able to see how uh, we've gone so far by the end of December. All right. Uh, Public Affairs Analyst Leko Adeyemo, uh, thank you very much for joining us from our Abuja studios. Thank you so much.